In February of 2011, I traveled from Wisconsin to the West African nation of Gabon to join a group of 10 friends for two weeks of adventure and fish collecting. Gabon is a special place. In this age of rapid environmental destruction, you can still find huge areas of primary rainforest here, as well as many untamed rivers. Gabon is a small country on the west coast of Africa that sits right on the equator. Seasons here are described as wet or dry, and it is always hot. During our visit, the season was wet, but that does not mean that the land is flooded. Gabon is mountainous, so rainwater runs through the streams quickly, especially the small streams where we want to collect fish. Most of the streams we collected fish from are small blackwater creeks deep in the rainforest. The water in these habitats is very acidic, often close to pH 4. Conductivity is very low and there is no significant carbonate hardness. Because of the forest and the elevation, these streams are cool, rarely more than 75 degrees Fahrenheit. The rainforests of eastern Gabon are home to a huge diversity of life. Most of these deep forest blackwater streams hold dozens of fish and shrimp species. Gabon also has many still water habitats, including lakes, ponds, lily bogs, and flooded grasslands. Each habitat contains different types of organisms. Gabonese people are closely tied to their waterways. Most local villages are found in close proximity to the streams that we were collecting fish in. The local villages use the streams for water for drinking, cooking, bathing, and cleaning. And the kids use it to have a little bit of fun. Manioc is an important part of the Gabonese people's diet. This root contains cyanide, however, and the poison must be leached out by water before the manioc can be eaten. For the time of modern transportation, the waterways of Gabon link the interior with the coast. All of Gabon's larger cities are located on the banks of major rivers. The populations of the large towns also depend upon the bounty of the river. Fish make up a large portion of the protein in the average person's diet. Fish markets like this one give you an idea of the types of fish that are found in the local waterways. The closer to the coast you get, the larger the rivers. Transportation of people and goods by boat is still a big part of the Gabonese economy. Our tour visited several different areas in central Gabon. In future installments of this video series, I will introduce you to the members of the group and share with you our experiences as we explored this tropical nation.